and in this video I'm taking a look at this rather premium gaming chair, the Noble Chair Icon, which is coated in leather and has quite a premium price of £520. If leather isn't really your thing, it's also available in a PU version, which will save you about £200 because that one retails around £330. The leather version of this chair uh, comes in a whole range of like quite unique colours that I think really separate it from other gaming chairs on the market. I've opted to take a look at the black version because I think it will suit pretty much everyone's setup. But it's also available in a Cognac and a Midnight Blue, which I think are really unique and they probably won't really look out of place in like a fancy gentleman's study. To kick off the review, let's jump back in time and we'll take a look at how I found the assembly of this chair. So the chair arrived in a big box with plenty of foam padding that kept it safe during shipping. instruction booklet to be clear with plenty of pictures and I got to work on the first step. Using four screws I attached a tilt mechanism onto the chair base. I tried to cheat by using my drill but I didn't have the right size drill bit so I used the tool that came with the chair. After the tilt mechanism was attached, I placed the lever covers onto the metal handles. The armrests on this chair come pre-attached, but it does look like it can be adjusted or removed completely. The five wheels went into the wheelbase reasonably easily, and I placed the hydraulic mechanism onto the base before slipping the cover over the top. The next step was to connect the top of the hydraulics with the seat, which I normally find quite difficult, but I actually managed to line them up straight away. for the chair back come pre-attached so I unscrewed them before lining up with the chair base. This part is always a bit awkward but once I lined up the screws it went in easily. plastic side covers and I push them firmly into place before attaching them using one screw for each. The final step was to put the two soft pillows on the chair. The pillow slipped over the top with an elastic strap holding it in place and the lumbar pillow doesn't have any straps so I just placed it at the base of the chair. Overall I found this chair very straightforward to build and in total it took me about 25 minutes. Comfort wise I found this chair very comfortable to sit in for long periods of time. It really reminds me of my uh, Noble Chairs Epic series which I absolutely love. I find that chair really comfortable. Uh, the Noble Chairs Icon is more of a relaxed shape though and I think there's definitely more space to get comfortable. I think it would be much more suited to those of you that might find traditional like racing style chairs a bit too narrow. Because Noble Chairs use a dense molded foam to fill their chairs I do find that the seat does feel quite firm at first 
first. Um, however, I have noticed it started to loosen up over time, particularly in my Epic series that I've had for quite a while now. The benefit of using this like higher quality filling over like sort of recycled foamy scraps means that this chair can hold its shape uh, better over time. So it should last longer than like chairs that have a like cheaper filling. The shape of the icon is very ergonomic. The back is like a molded shape and it also comes with the two removable pillows as well. I found that this chair provides plenty of support for me so I'm sitting nice and upright while I'm using it at my desk. The two pillows themselves are sort of coated in this really nice soft fabric and they give decent support without being too firm. The neck pillow I really really like. It holds in place at like the perfect height for me and it feels really really comfy when I like lean my head back into the chair. I don't normally like uh, lumbar pillows but I have been trying to use this pillow with this chair because I actually think it works quite well. The backrest on the icon doesn't have an arch in it uh, so this pillow actually does a good job at providing a decent amount of support and I've actually quite enjoyed using it. The thing I don't like about the lumbar pillow is that it doesn't have those sort of like elastic straps on it to attach it to the chair. So I did find when I was sort of like shuffling around that it does move about quite a bit and it does get a little bit irritating. As with most of these sort of gaming chairs, the icon has a ton of different ways in which it can be adjusted. And it's one of the reasons why I think that I find it so comfortable. The handles on the underneath the chair and also on the side are really easy to reach and simple to use. So it's nice and easy to adjust the height and the recline of the chair. Uh, the recline on this particular chair doesn't really go as far back as you do find with some gaming chairs, uh, but it can be reclined to a rather comfy 135 degrees. If you unlock the rocking tilt mechanism, you can then recline it a further 11 degrees. I found this to be great for taking a quick nap or sort of laying back and playing games with a controller. The class 4 Gaustiff on this chair glides really nicely and adjusts the height by 10cm from 480mm up to 580mm. I'm 5 foot 7 and I find that the soles of my feet just about touch the ground on its lowest setting so there's plenty of height there if you're a taller user but I think if you're any shorter than me you might have to purchase the uh, shorter gas lift that Noble Chairs sell separately. The armrests on the Icon are really quite nice. I think Noble Chair have improved them over the armrests that I've got on the Epic Series chair. They're still 4D adjustable, so they go up and down, forwards and backwards, inwards or outwards, or you can angle them in and out as well. However, they seem to be much easier to adjust and they glide a lot more easily. I also like the design of the armrest with the metal button. I think they match the overall aesthetic of this chair really nicely. And they're also made of like a firm rubbery plastic, which I found really comfortable to lean on. Aesthetically, this chair looks absolutely fantastic. It's a really sleek adult design that definitely moves away from like the typical brightly colored gaming chairs that are on the market. The diamond stitching along the backrest and the seat is really neatly done and the leather upholstery is really soft and I think it makes this chair look and feel very premium. The branding isn't too in your face and I think it blends really well into the overall design. The two pillows have Noble Chairs neatly embroidered onto them in gold thread and there's also a really nice looking uh, gold Noble Chairs badge on the backrest. Comfort is obviously the most important feature, but this chair really looks like a premium piece of furniture and you can tell that a lot of thought has gone into the overall design. It's also available in those different colours as well that are very unique. The overall build quality on this chair is excellent and well at this price point I would expect it to be. The leather is beautifully soft and silky and supple. My only concern is that it might feel a little bit sort of like warm and sticky like leather car seats uh, when it gets to the summer and it starts to get a little bit warmer. The benefit of using leather however is that it should last for years and years if you look after it properly. It's much tougher than like faux leather which can sort of crack and peel over time. The stitching that holds all the leather upholstery is also at a really high level. Uh, it's really neat and I am confident that it should last for ages and ages without sort of coming undone and fraying. 
the skeleton of this chair, like the steel frame uh, that's supporting you, feels nice and solid and sturdy, and you can tell if you just try and pick the chair up. It's pretty damn heavy at 28 kilograms, and it's also strong too, with a weight limit of 180 kilograms. The wheelbase on this chair is also nice and sturdy. I noticed during assembly that it's got some real weight to it. It's made of a really thick metal and I really quite like the angular design and the matte black paint that they've opted to use. The wheels are also uh, good quality and they glide really nicely on hardwood flooring or on carpet. So overall, is the Noble Chairs Icon Series Leather worth having? I think that it's a very comfortable chair, it's great to look at, and you can also tell that it's built to last. However, I'm not sure if the extra £200 for the leather version is worth having. The faux leather that Noble Chairs use actually feels quite good quality anyway. I've got it on my Epic Series chair. However, with the leather versions, you do get those like rather unique colors to choose between. And with leather, it should definitely outlast any sort of like faux leather. This chair is definitely up there in price. It's pretty damn pricey. However, I think it is a case of you get what you pay for. Uh, this chair is gonna be perfect for those of you that want a uh, chair that strays away from that sort of like brightly colored racing style chairs. And it's definitely more sophisticated. If you like this video from Kit Guru, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from Kit Guru, make sure to hit the subscribe button.